let us now learn about reminder theorem reminder theorem nerchukodam valla benefits entante for example i have two polynomials x square plus 2x plus 1 is a polynomial i want to divide that with another polynomial that is x plus 1 ila divide chesinappudu we know that you know this is going to be dividend and this is going to be divisor when you divide you will know what is the quotient and what is the remainder right if you know the remainder theorem you don't need to do this division without doing the division itself you can say what is the remainder that is the benefit of using remainder theorem okay there is another benefit for example i have a polynomial x square minus 4 i am going to divide that with x plus 2 okay when i divide that I am going to get x minus 2 as the coefficient and 0 as the remainder. Okay. If 0 is the remainder, it means that x plus 2 and x minus 2 are the factors of x square minus 4. And I mean, divisor x plus 2 and I have to the dividend ki a factor of kada and the ante we can use remainder theorem so remainder theorem prakaram we'll find what is the remainder of this division if the remainder is zero you can say that it is a factor of the given polynomial understood video chivar work chodandi so that you understand the concept well okay Let us now learn about remainder theorem. Remainder theorem definition is let p of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. P of x is a polynomial, this then degree is greater than or equal to 1. And let a be any real number. A and identity real number and a belongs to real numbers r in the case lo, if p of x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p of a okay man ke even jepthin the remainder theorem for example i have a polynomial p of x with degree greater than or equal to 1 and then I have a real number a such that I can write a linear polynomial x minus a. If I divide this p of x with x minus a, you know, I'll, I may get some coefficient, but end of it, I'll get the remainder, right? That is p of a. Now let's consider a few polynomials. x minus 2 is a linear polynomial right in the linear polynomial in the its degree is 1 x square plus 3x minus 4 is another polynomial its degree is 2 i have another polynomial x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 it is called cubic polynomial its degree is 3 and all these polynomials can be p of x Right, p of x of ki, p of x can be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. Right, in all these cases, we have degree greater than or equal to 1. For example, I have number 5. This can be also a polynomial, right? This is called constant polynomial and it can be written as 5 times x power 0. It means its degree is 0. So, this cannot be p of x that means the p of x has to be any polynomial with degree greater than or equal to 1 and the three polynomials have to be p of x and a be any real number you know it can be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 by 2 you know root 2 so any real number for example let me say that this is my p of x p of x equal to x minus 2 
okay now i have a that is 1 it means the linear polynomial is going to be x minus a meaning x minus 1 right suppose if you divide p of x that is x minus 2 with x minus 1 what is your reminder reminder theorem p of x equal to 1 that means p of 1 and jeptundi, right now let's take this p of x equal to x minus 2 and take p of 1 name of the 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 so the remainder is going to be minus 1 division check and then it's up for 2 now let's consider this x square plus 3x minus 4 as p of x okay then degree greater than 1 right now let me say that my a is in this case also equal to 1 it means the linear polynomial is going to be x minus a or x minus 1 if you divide this polynomial with x minus 1 x square minus 3x plus 4 with x minus 1 if you divide then you are going to get some coefficient but end of it the remainder is going to be p of a that is equal to p of 1 shall we find what is the remainder p of 1 is going to be 1 square plus 3 times 1 minus 4 you see this is 1 plus 3 minus 4 this can be written as 4 minus 4 that is equal to 0 so the remainder is 0 p of 1 is remainder and its value equal to 0 it means x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial understood remainder theorem at the p of x and any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and there can be one real number any real number for that matter that is a so x minus a is going to be a linear polynomial if you divide the given polynomial p of x with x minus a the remainder is going to be p of a that is the remainder theorem got it let us find the remainder when 3x square plus x minus 1 is divided by x plus 1. a division law 3x square plus x minus 1 and the dividend out in the right and x plus 1 and the divisor right so manam polynomial division chedan dwara what is the remainder and conclude then alternative way in the remainder theorem you say remainder theorem even let p of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 in particular case low manu p of x equal to 3x square plus x minus 1 and kunte dhani degree and 2 and it is greater than or equal to 1 right so p of x can be 3x square plus x minus 1 let a be any real number okay a and a any real number and x minus a and a the linear polynomial if you divide p of x with x minus a then the remainder is p of a and remainder theorem is p of x and a polynomial linear polynomial x minus a to divide chest the remainder p of a right in our case x minus a is going to be equal to x plus 1 right it means a is minus so to get the remainder we have to find p of a that is equal to p of minus right so p of x is 3x square plus x minus 1. p of minus 1 is going to be 3 times minus 1 whole square plus x meaning plus into minus 1 minus 1. When we say x is the first 
we have replaced x with right now let's simplify this 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 1 whole square into minus 1 into minus 1 that is equal to plus 1 right let's write that 3 into plus 1 this is going to be plus into minus this is going to be minus 1 and then this minus 1 is written as it so this is going to be 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1 and a p of minus 1 equal to remainder that is equal to 1 please note this okay remainder theorem you says the manaki remainder is 1 and they'll say right but we can do division also right let's verify whether remainder theorem is working correct or not for that we have to divide this polynomial with this polynomial right let's write 3x square plus x minus 1 inside this line and x plus 1 on the other side division jayadam goes first step ain't we have to consider the terms containing highest x square 3x square and ekada so let's divide 3x square with x x so let's write this as a term in the coefficient right now we have to multiply this 3x with the divisor x plus when you do that you are going to get 3x square plus let us subtract that from this 3x square plus 3 you subtract you change the signs right then 3x square minus 3x square it is going to be cancelled and here you have plus x and minus 3x plus x minus 3x is going to be minus 1, right let's write that now bring this minus 1 down so you have now the expression as minus 2x now let me consider the term containing highest exponent that is minus 2x divided by x it's going to be minus 2. In minus 2 is a term in the coefficient now let me multiply this minus 2 with x plus 1 that is divided right this is going to be minus 2x let me subtract that from previous x right it's going to be plus 1 plus sign right so every term in the below expression we are going to change signs minus 2x is going to be plus 2x and minus 2 is going to be plus 2 so minus 2x plus 2x is going to get cancelled that is 0 minus 1 plus 2 that is going to be plus 1 plus 1 is the right this is the cohesion so remainder is 1 right and remainder theorem you said in varakoda we got remainder as but ikkada anta division anta jesam it cheyakanda ne simple ga he said that right that is the beauty of remainder theorem understood check whether x minus 2 is a factor of given polynomial x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 4 okay manam deenni general ga ite division chestam polynomial division chesi remainder ent vachindo chustu remainder ganaka zero anukondi the divisor x minus 2 and edi one of the factors of this and chapter. Okay. So polynomial division chaikanda man remainder theorem uses koda remainder kan ko. Right. What remainder theorem says is let P of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. In this particular case, if I say that this is my P of x, x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 4 in degree and the 3 that is greater than 1 or equal to 1 right so p of x is there now and a and a is going to be real number right there if you divide p of x with a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p of a i want to divide the given polynomial with x minus 2 okay x minus a is equal to x minus a minus d a is 2 right so a is 2 in the a is 2 and 
x minus a अने दांतो divide चेस्ते यानो x minus 2 तो divide चादा वनको right x minus 2 is x minus a now if you simplify this you get a as 2 so remainder is going to be p of a and take p of 2 right now let's write p of x that is x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 4 right x in the place lower la 2 rasa 7 quantity p of 2 which has the right p of 2 equal to 2 cube minus 2 times 2 square minus 5 times 2 plus right 2 cube is 8 minus 2 times 2 square is 4 minus 5 times 2 is 10 minus 10 then you have plus 4 so this is going to be 8 minus 8 minus 10 plus 4 minus 8 to plus 8 cancel like what minus 10 plus 4 is minus 6 so p of 2 is remainder that is minus remainder minus 6 the remainder 0 kaledu right remainder 0 aithe x minus 2 anedi deeniki oka factor remainder 0 kaledu kabatti x minus 2 is not a factor of this polynomial right let's write that remainder is not 0 that is minus 6 that's why x minus 2 is not a factor of the given polynomial x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 4 understood so this is the application one of the applications of remainder theorem right remainder theorem teliyadam valla manam em chestna polynomial division cheyakundane we are getting the remainder once you know the remainder if it is zero we can say that the divisor is one of the factors of the given polynomial that is dividend right zero kakapothe we can say that it is not a e particular case lo remainder we got it as minus 6 not 0 right that's why we said that x minus 2 is not a factor of the given polynomial otherwise manam mottham polynomial division problem solve chesi final ga factor kaadu ani cheppundam remainder theorem teliyadam valla easy ga chesa okay